sick already. I ate more than one noodles and I'm still eating them. I'm... <laughs> We're back either way, so it does not matter. Let us... Let's go. People shall talk to these boys and gal. Hey dude, thanks a lot for getting me a lost ball. As you can see, I'm putting it to good use. Yep, she sure is. I was thinking, since y'all are so kind to help me out, I'm gonna be generous and teach you my special skill. But first, I got a question for y'all. Which one of you has the hardest head? Well, duh, that had to be Aubrey. Th what did you say? Well, chill out. No hard feelings. <laughs> Get it? My gosh. <laughs> that sounds about right. Alright, Aubrey, I'm gonna teach you the skill. Just between hard headed folks like us. My specialty is headbutt. It's simple, really. You just run up to someone and. Now you try. That looks like it would hurt. It also mess up my hair. And ruin my bow. Oh, come on, Aubrey. Live a little. I don't the hair never hurt anyone. You know, it's not even proof of that. But... <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you bet. I was gonna be mad. <laughs> Fine. But if I'm doing this, I'm gonna give it all I got. Excuse me. I feel dizzy. Whoa, a nice one there, Aubrey. I knew I felt talent in you. Congratulations! She's dizzy. Um, hmm, what's happening? From this day forth, I hereby declare you a bona fide head butter. I really learned head butt. She's gonna get okay, so she gets dizzy afterwards. And as a certificate, show your friends, I'm sure they'll be pressed. You got a head butt certificate. She is dizzy. Okay, well we got the head butt certificate, so we're gonna quickly save again. And then we're gonna climb that very long ladder and hope nothing bad happens. You're afraid of drowning. Isn't this east? Oh, uh, never. No, that's no, I've never eat. So it's right. I'm incorrect. I thought there was some, like, weird bridge or something the whole time. I would have never guessed it was a ladder. And let's go. Yeah, okay, the footsteps are over here now. And we. Oh, yeah, we did see the thing. Remember what Marty said on Marty? I'm just the wrong voice. You're stronger than you think. Don't worry, I'll be right behind you. Yeah, and if you fall, we'll be here to catch you. Hell, don't scare him. You won't fall, Morty. I promise. No, not the hands again. Not the hands again, please. the hands again please you're no longer afraid of fights oh dang okay man I know there's a reason why we've never climbed this ladder but I can't put my finger on it tip of my tongue oh well here goes nothing because it's tall it goes to space we won't be able to breathe Ooh. Okay, so I guess we're gonna be able to- oh, This is basically us facing our fears, I guess. Wait, wait, hold on, guys. Shoot. Where is he? I just had him. Hector, my pet rock! I swear I just had him in my pocket. No! Hector! 
I was falling out of my pocket when I wasn't paying attention. Sorry, Hexer, I should have been more careful. What's the big deal? It's just a rock, right? Don't you dare say that! He's not just a rock, he's family! Don't worry, I'm sure we'll turn up soon, Kel. Probably. I'm sure you sure hope so. Wait for me, Hector. I'll find you. I promise. Hmm. Okay, this is a very long ladder. Uh-huh. Okay then. Um. There's a watermelon too, whatever side that is, along with the other sides. Okay. Yeah, even the bird has to wear a helmet. How are we supposed to breathe up here? You're so tired. <laughs> the ladder is just... Never ends. Jeez. <laughs> That's one small step for kill. One star. Large step for kill kind. <laughs> That's not how it goes. You don't get to decide how it goes. You weren't here first. Wait, hold on. Let me butter so just <laughs> Take this thing down right now. What if somebody sees it? No way, look at it fluttering the wind. So majestic. So beautiful. So confused. You know, do something. <laughs> I'm sick. Just patting my breath. Actually, give me a minute. Mm, never mind. So majestic, so beautiful. <laughs> That's an achievement. So majestic, so beautiful. Let's see. Cheap other world campsite. Chatel Field. Okay, I guess we're looking up here for, uh, Basil. Other world. I highly believe that it's gonna be the- that he's gonna be where the water thing is, to be honest. Look at the dinosaur! Or dragon, whatever the heck it is. Oh, she's here, too. She's like Sans' hut. There's a giant TV. So many humans today. You guys are always such big fans of space travel. I like this Mohoosiac. Welcome to other world. An unofficial pit stop for where it's space travel is on top of their family friendly camping grounds. <sighs> but I just love the spell of firewood. It sounds like one or other. Chris Space Breeze. Thanks to Vast Emptiness, it's space is a more bearable, you think? I agree, I guess. Uh -huh. Let's save. There we go. Oh, it's a mirror. Mirror. A floating mirror. Your friends smile warmly behind you. Why are there mirrors everywhere? I don't understand. There's one of the travel areas. Mr. Mailbox Man. Yes, yes, valued customer. Okay, s'mores. With the heart. Okay, I'll buy a s'more. Heck yeah. Uh, cherry soda. Excuse me. Uh, rubber band. It deals damage to flow and reduces their defense. Sparkler. There were fires. Excuse me. Um, life jam. Okay, life jam is most expensive, but I have one. Ah, there you go. Yeah, no little Durgan. You're a house. 
I'm small, the world's smallest centaur. Just look at my awards. Most horse, second place. <laughs> my <laughs> miniest centaur, first place. Smallest centaur, first place. <laughs> Little centaur, Little centaur. E bitty a centaur. Little centaur. Dang. It must be a little centaur. Dang. It'd be like that sometimes. There's cars in space? Does not make any sense to me. Ooh. Ooh. I like the spacey noises. There's, there's a spooky thing. I don't think I want to fight that. Oh, goodness. Am I in your way? Shall we? I'll move over. Oh, goodness. Am I in your way? I'm sorry. I'll move over. Let me buy. Let me buy. Well, they won't let us buy. Hello there, little peacock guy. Oh crap, I forgot my camera at home. It was a good camp trip if I can't take any pictures. Good point. Uh, ooh. Sorry to bother you. Let me see my phone anyway. We left away for less than a second and he's going to rain off. Can you keep an eye out for me? You'll let me know when you see him. He looks just like me. <laughs> I'm guessing that's his mom. Or the kid's mom, what, or his, 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 his wife? Okay. Hello, the police. This place used to be a pristine wildlife preserve, but due to its recent boom of tourism, it started to become an immaculate of trash. Okay. Pick up your trash, people, it's not that hard! Got 10. Recycling machine. Hope you like to recycle you but can in recycling machine. Let's go. This music man. Slurp. You picked up a can. You're so helpful to the environment. A band of space pirates have been camping out over here for a long time now. I can hear the captain suddenly decide that he wasn't going to travel anymore. So after the took off the ship and left. Oh. Halt, children. Are ye, uh, are, you are now entering the vicinity of the captain of space pirates. Master of the solar system. The prince of the universe. The one and only captain space I mean, meh. You're entering the house of space boyfriend. What? Um, uh, okay. Whoa, a captain of space pirates lives here? That's awesome! I want to be a space pirate too. Yeah, well, so did I, once. Space boyfriend doesn't do much these days. So most of the pirates got left and left the main ship. I can't read! It's just a, it's just a straggler that's here doing all of the space boyfriend's chores or whatever. I guess I mean the guy who spent the day cleaning and throwing away his trash. Ugh. Didn't need my old job for this. I didn't need no babysitter. Oh, I'm sorry. That sounds awful. Maybe you can talk some sense into him. Oh, I would do that if I were you. Captain Space Boy- I mean, Space Boyfriend got two sides of him, you see. You should at least try. Oh, wrong voice or whatever. You never know. You might know something to find Basil. Or maybe where to find me fit Rock Hector. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, that too. What are we leaving for? Let's go see. Um, sorry about your job, sir. It'll get pretty soon, I promise. Thank you, good lady. I sure hope so. Let's go talk to this space guy. Let's talk to everyone, I guess. Buddy. 
It sucks you had to come at a time like this. Are you sure, though? Space boyfriend. What can we do for you, bro? Why won't you leave your bed? Okay, jeez. All I hear lately is that the rest of the crew complaining about being bored. Am I the only one who kind of enjoys the cleaning around here? Most likely. Oh, there's someone at this side. Beep. <laughs> space amigo, space bro. Um, what was this one? Space mate. Okay. And that was space buddy. Um, who's the last two? I click enter again. Space Ace. Space boyfriend hasn't left his bed since she stopped coming around. Oh, he's depressed. Oh. Space pal. This is a little bit rough right now. But I don't care what anyone says, pal. I believe in that captain. Okay, so he's depressed. Probably. Piano. I want, okay, I kind of wonder if uh, my time will come in at some point. Because that'd be cool. A boombox. There's no cassette tape inside. Let's talk to the guy. <coughs> <coughs> uh oh. Uh, space boyfriend doesn't look so good. Don't worry, I'll handle this. Hey, space boyfriend, wake up! Kill. What? <coughs> 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 My precious sweetheart! Oh, that's so, so sad. Must be a way to help him. <coughs> oh, my sweetheart! What have you run off to? Jeez. He's either sick or. He's, I don't know. He's just sad. He's just sad and sick. That's what he is. Oh no, not again. Big boyfriend's feeling the heavy blues. Here, my. Here, my guy. <laughs> this space pirate guy. This will show you right up. Hmm. Why isn't anything playing? Oh no, the boombox. It's empty. It's never gonna wake up now. Or worse, it's gonna wake up angry. Oh man, oh man. But I get a special mixtape, please. So much is thrown away, especially when say, but we were cleaning! Oh gosh. What, what's the big deal? It's just a cassette, right? Where you see? Sorry, excuse me. Whatever space boyfriend is away from his sweetheart. Excuse me. He gets really sad and lies in bed all day. The only way to snap him out of it is by playing a special mixtape. There's only one in the universe that like it. Oh, I see. Space boyfriend isn't sick. Oh. He's lovesick. If space force and stairs like this, the once great collation of space travel will be lost for eternity. I can't pronounce half these words, but I'm giving up entirely. Man, that sucks. Well, let's go. Huh? <laughs> but what are you going? We should help him out. You know, it should suck. You know, you should know it really sucks to do something important to you. You should dare bring Hector into this. I'm talking about when you took my stuffed toy. Hmm. Huh? I don't remember anything like that. <coughs> oh. oh. Sweetheart, my perfect garden. Uh, my sweet. Uh, my jealous little donut. <coughs> Jeez. I think he's getting worse. What should we do more? Should we help him? Yeah. Thanks, my guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you, my guy. Take this special mixtape. <laughs> junkyard key. The key will unlock the junkyard. A special mixtape should be somewhere in there. 
What the heck? Get through the using the secret entrance of space boyfriend's backyard. Pretty convenient, eh? I agree, it's very convenient. I wanted to just start playing my time. Oh yes, you be oh yes, be close your eyes and you'll leave this dream. Oh yes, um, be oh yes, um, be. I know that it's hard to do. Days go by, so well nigh. Moments pass, shattered glass, hands of time. Where's that chime in my head? I really don't know, dude. I hope a cannon won't be too mad to tell him his favorite planet is missing. Oh, Pluto? You know how he gets when he's angry. But you're not supposed to call him Captain anymore. You have to call him Space Boyfriend, remember? Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> you know, dude. Sometimes I wonder if you're even Space Pirates anymore. Ever since that sweetheart came along, we haven't done anything cool. We should just quit I can get real jobs. Don't talk nonsense, buddy. Oh, what is life for us? If not the space pirate life? I'm sure the captain will come to his senses one day and we'll flog in. Just have to believe in him. <sighs> Thanks, dude. You're always there when I need you. Oh, Like a dudes and buddies hanging out. Just dudes being buds. Buds being dudes. His favorite planet is missing. Oh, okay. And we shall go search in the junkyard in the next episode. Cuz, I don't know. But I can't save yet, so that means I'm gonna record again. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. <laughs>